Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is the first of two videos we've got for you today. But first, an important special word from our sponsor. PSA. Hey guys, here at the Angry Joe Show, we think a lot about your balls. Wait, what? what? This last month was Testicular Cancer Awareness Month, and it's so important to get checked. One man, every hour, every day, is diagnosed with testicular cancer. That's why Joe here is gonna show you right now how to examine yourself. No. To perform a testicular self-examination, grasp and roll the testicles between your thumbs and forefingers. You're feeling for lumps, swelling, hardness, or other changes. If you notice any changes, contact a urologist immediately. I want you to note that it is normal for one testicle to be larger or lower than the other. That's right, everyone. To help remind guys to check themselves for testicular cancer for a limited time, Manscaped has a special edition Lawnmower 4.0 Purple Trimmer and will be donating $50,000 to their longtime partner, the Testicular Cancer Society, to help those impacted by testicular cancer. And as always, you can use our promo code ANGRYJOSHOW for 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Make sure to check yourself out guys and have a good one here at the angry joe show we save balls <laughs> <laughs> we do save balls we save your balls guys it's important right it is. right now manscaped has a special edition lawnmower 4.0 there's only 10,000 of them made it glows purple and it's for a great cause they've already donated a bunch of money they've been a long time partner for the testicular cancer society um, this is important make sure you check yourself once a month Testicular cancer has a 97% survival rate if you catch it early. So uh, you're down there anyway. Check <laughs> yourself yes. before give, give you wreck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and grab you one of these. Support it, guys. Click the links down below. This was really cool. It glows purple, and you can say that you have only one of what? A ten, thousand ten ever thousand. made? 10,000 ten ever thousand. made? Guys, uh, all right, so in the AJS news, uh, we got a meeting with YouTube to continue to discuss We're gonna fight our CBS. constant CBS battles. Uh, that happens around uh, later on today, and uh, they've, they've dropped all the claims, because they keep doing this over and over again, they right? They do it to torpedo They the do success it to of... torpedo, and at this point, I think I have enough evidence to be like, guys, uh, this is targeted harassment. Otherwise, they wouldn't keep releasing the videos. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. No, not it's not okay. It's not okay for this one, but it's okay for this one. Yeah. Okay, this time it's okay, but next time we say no. This is targeted harassment. And it's it's one. for people who don't understand because people have been asking me. The reason that they do it is if it is claimed, it gets pulled out of the YouTube algorithm, which means that you don't yeah. get to see it, and it guts yeah. uh, any opportunity for the video to pull out of big. your sub box. Yeah, too, and so people like, don't oh. get to see it. So while we really appreciate everyone who's clicked on those things and watched them a bunch of times, the mo majority Thank of the you. audience don't Thank get you. to see those videos, be and, and they know what they're doing. So yeah, they know that's why it's so. Awful. So we got a meeting later on today. Uh, I don't know if it's going to resolve anything, but at least it'll get the gears turning. All right. Um, what happened in gaming news, though? Uh, we got a new Lord of the Rings game from EA. It's yes! going to be great. It's on your cell phone, though. What? Um, yeah. It's yeah. a mobile game? Mobile game. Fuck! 90% likelihood of it being bad. But yeah. why? What is Who it about? Who is it made by? Uh, electronic oh, EA, Arts. That's right. It's that's going to be amazing. Uh, Wonderful. Yeah, there'll be blue uh, That went so well for the Command & Conquer franchise when they decided, you know what people want? You know what people love about Command & Conquer? The mobile game. You can take it on the go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Anywhere take the strategy you game. Go. Fucking shit. Free to play mobile game. I played Based a mobile game this weekend. Which one? Uh, uh, I played Heroes of Might and Magic 3 on a tablet. We played hey, Hot Seat at the uh, There's before, a few before good the, ones. Yeah, well, it's not actually a mobile. It's just a tablet game, and we we're like doing it oh, hot seat, passing this iPad nice. around while we're waiting for the whole. It was amazing. Play yeah. Heroes of Might Magic Three. Don't play garbage yeah. mobile games. Yes, uh, uh, but this one is a collectible. They use the word collectible, which means okay. Uh, they use sprinkle um, words. The in there. percent Exclusive. chance went up to ninety nine percent chance Rarity. of being a piece of shit. Yeah, you get one ring, one ring to rule them all. Uh, and then a next. strategic social competitive, social competitive experience. Pay. To win. My wallet's bigger than your wallet. And it's, you know what? It's developed by Capital Games. That's, uh, you need to figure out which development studio, Capital Games, they did Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. So it's going to be 
I already know what it is. It's gonna be a. Fu- it's like looking like a clone of Star Wars: Galaxy of Heroes with the a middle world. Dis- Maybe a, a new a new thing, a tiny new mode that allows them. To- uh, they themselves described it at well, they, like immersive storytelling, turn based combat, deep collection systems. Deep. Oh. They themselves said it's deep, oh, which means, means yeah. your pockets need to be deep. Otherwise, you're going to get uh, deep. you know ring pop. Okay, the, the percent chance just went up to 100. Yeah. <laughs> 100% chance that you shouldn't be fucking wasting your time or money on this. Persistent and internet it, connection required. Come on. Uh, I got excited. I want to see some fucking Middle Earth shit. And, you know, uh, Amazon is about to release their series. Uh, God knows if it's going to be good or not. Uh and I, does anybody remember the motherfucking battle uh, front Lord of the Rings? A long time battle ago, it was like, yeah, it was like confront, conf, conquest. I think I'm like the only one that played it. It was like uh, close combat, you know, mass battles mm-hmm. instead of, you know, shooting. And it's, it was crazy. Yeah. You know? The one I remember was Two Towers. That was sweet. Yeah. I want that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, bad news for kids uh, in China. Children are banned from tipping and watching live streams after 10 p.m. in China. Uh, China's further uh, tightening up on the gaming restrictions, and we're going to keep telling you more and more about these things. I mean, ultimately, it's... It was Conquest, yeah. It's just Pandemic not... Studios. Yes. Uh, China. Uh, fuck, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck them. Yeah. Uh, they're just making it harder and harder, which, you know, it's one of those things gaming is kind of like the, the whole uh, wet bar of soap, and they're squeezing real tight, and eventually people are just going to figure out a way, and then, I don't know. But oh, China has pretty, know, pretty significant control over some things, but I, I have less, less optimistic outlooks on China. Less I think gaming. the Chinese people like being less restricted. Tipping. It's a part of the culture embedded in there that, I, well, no, actually not mm. for certain things. You know, for certain things, like you said, you want to squeeze out of there, but uh, there is party fervor there where it's like, oh, no, yeah. we need to do this because you know this is how we do things here and so it's very difficult and and this isn't something that will change overnight this is something uh that gamers can help uh change you know if they get sick and tired of the chinese government fucking getting in all their business but it's not gonna happen overnight it's gonna be decades before they're like hey wait a minute Shut up. <laughs> yeah, it's scary, though. You speak up, like, well, where'd he go? Disappeared. Yeah. Grandma's gone. Yeah. Your social, your social credit score isn't high enough to have grandma I anymore. I love my freedoms here in the yeah. U.S. of A. Yeah. Uh, Xbox owners were pissed off this weekend uh, that you were not able to play or purchase titles on Microsoft consoles over the weekend. There was a major outage. Um, people really, you know, people want to play video games, right? Mm. And uh, they were unable to do so. What are you doing the weekend, man? Yeah, uh, this is the kind of shit I, I was fucking talking about when when I went to, hey, you know, uh, Xbox, you think you just flip a switch? We don't need this nanny console bullshit always where on. you get always on and you got to check the DRM. And I thought they understood because later they flipped the switch. But it... The, the, the way you get around this is stop developing games that fucking require you to check into the internet every fucking five seconds. You know, it should be able to turn on the console and access the games offline, if they're offline games. If they're single-player games, I need access to them. Mm. I don't understand why we have to check into the internet. Bad! Bad Xbox! So slowly, while well, they said, okay, we're not going to do the nanny stay, we're just going to do this, but slowly there's... There's, you know, it's been happening behind the mm. scenes. It's like, well, now you need to implement some plans. You need to b- implement some procedures, standard procedures, like they used to do for, hey, on uh, if you're on Xbox Live Arcade, you need a demo. Something like that. Uh, and where it's like, hey, if you're going to be on our service and you're a single-player game, you need to have make sure that there's an offline mode that you don't have to fucking check in. It was some weird system that happened over the weekend, like, oh, your console had to be set to home or something like that, but even those people were having problems accessing their offline games. That would be a fucking nightmare. Yeah. You, like, spend all that money, and you're like, all right, what? time to relax after hard fucking well, You work days six work days a week, and you'll have one day to play yeah. video games. I mean, that hey, happens. Fuck. Nope. <laughs> Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Why uh, did I spend all that money? <laughs> there was a uh, a lot of outrage. I mean, people on Reddit were pissed. People on Twitter. There were a lot of people really upset about it. And it's bringing back the the criticisms that you mentioned before that people have had for ten years. It's like there's no reason. I was that leading my the charge on single that. Single player stuff still needs to be just on as fucking important. Yeah. It needs to be changed. We need to push them, send them messages or whatnot that. There needs to be uh, a feature in there that that protects. No, they want to keep tabs on you, man. <laughs> Well, uh, in other Microsoft news, they are reporting... make sure you're still paying. 
Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Even well, you, couldn't you even, already paid. You couldn't even buy games at the time. So oh, that's like, right. Either, yeah, yeah, everything was down. Them. Everything was down. Uh, um, Microsoft is reportedly planning to launch a cloud streaming device by summer of 2023. Um, the company is also said to be in talks with Samsung to add Xbox Game Pass streaming app to televisions. So Xbox is, and, and Microsoft are really trying to bring the video games to the consumers. Consoles is not where the, the companies make the money. Uh, they make the money by selling you the games. And by having a subscription on the Game Pass. So they don't care how you're playing the games. They just want you playing their games. So it completely makes sense that if, if they can get you to sit on your couch and you've got like a, just a controller, you know, like Stadia. Make tried, it easier. They Stadia try to do. <laughs> um, but you don't have to have the Series X or S or an Xbox One or a, a high-powered PC. And they're going to try to figure out a way to do it. So this seems like a, a natural step for, for Microsoft to take. And they're, power, uh, they're partnering up with some powerful people to make it happen. Mm. I'd be interested in that. Yeah. That sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so part of uh, X Microsoft's Xbox Everywhere initiative, which which added Fortnite to list of cloud gaming. So they're really trying to beef everything up, trying to stay competitive uh, with Sony and others. Just don't follow the uh, other people's marketing scheme that didn't work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. I got great news. We finally got have some more updates to Star Citizen, it has been over ten uh, years. Okay, um, and so it was Tread really. Is it done? It was. Tread well, lightly. No. Is it finally done? <laughs> but they're finally working on bed sheet deformation physics right now. Is that some um, kind of code for something else? No, no. It's like when you when you have a bed <laughs> and uh, NPCs use the bed, they they mess up the sheets. They're really. I what the fuck are it. you doing? They're milking the shit out of this. Are you Come fucking on. kidding me, Alex? I read. I had to read a bunch of places because I thought this was a fucking. That has like, to gotta be a be joke. A joke. <laughs> <Something> <laughs> <I> thought, <laughs> it's the bed. And every time I get <laughs> reading stuff, are they like, are they fucking doing drugs? <laughs> what the fuck are they doing? Well, they made what? like almost 500 the, mil, the right? The goddamn, yeah. what is it called? Somebody help me in the comments. It's developer creep or uh, scope creep. The, the scope creep is ridiculous. They need somebody to go in there and fucking wreck shop, like spank them. Spank somebody. Why? Be like, look, you but why? Fuck, what the fuck are There's you doing? There's no reason. They're making Are you so fucking doing money. the individual fucking... Toothbrush teeth on the goddamn toothbrushes in the goddamn virtual bathrooms. Make the fucking game. Remember when we thought it was? Hey, get the game out. Remember the horse? The horse scrotum would shrink in the Rockstar games, and everyone was like, "I hope the game." And but the game wasn't delayed for it, and now they're like, "No, this is what we're working on." It's like. The you fuck are idiot. you doing? I thought that it the single player was done. I've seen fucking clips. They keep fucking showing clips and teases of these things that, that only exist in their fucking studio. And, and the, the, you know, Mark Hamill and the fucking Battlestar Galactica CEO guy and, and all these people in this fucking single player mode. And they're fucking too busy deforming your goddamn bed sheets. That nobody's going to look at. <laughs> it's super important for no the immersion. No one's going to look at it. All right, the one not. guy. The one guy's like, "Come on, guy, man, I'm just, I'm just doing my job. Yeah. I don't know what everybody else is doing, but my job is the beds, and I wanted to do the beds really good." Okay, but it's just like, "Hey, it's board not my meeting. Fault. What what can we do now? Right, bed we're not sheets. blaming you, bed sheet Let's guy. Let's do bed sheets. We're blaming the fucking people above you who are making the decisions. They're making you do bed yeah. sheets. <laughs> so <laughs> in the a space game. <laughs> there's a lot of there's some other work going on. Bed sheets was listed first, of course. Yeah, uh, the animation team funny. is working on improve improvements to facial animations for several characters. Gameplay story team updated several scenes in Chapter 1 with new motion capture. <sighs> but um, The game is fully playable now. Um, you can play no. it. Yeah. Uh, now, the good what? news is, uh, even though Star Citizen and Squadron 42 are not out yet, Cloud Imperium has started talking about potential sequels. What? You're joking. No. Did he just say one like that? You! Shut your dirty whore mouth. You are not getting any money for no motherfucking sequels. You oh, are not are. even they done are. with the goddamn first game. Doesn't matter. The fucking money making schemes this company is doing. This but not one sequel, by the way. It's multiple sequels. No. They want to do multiple sequels for Squadron 42. Um, Get the f no, get the fuck out, man. So this game's not out yet. Get out. No, no. Joe, it'll well, no, never no. come out well, another five years. I know, years. I understand that. I'm just saying, like, this oh. game's not even out yet. It's been yes. a decade. Right. So when do you think uh, the part two's coming out? <laughs> <laughs> 
Your in grandson our lifetime? will play that. Joe. In our lifetime. Your grandson. But they will make a billion dollars, though. Yeah, they're climbing by up the there. time it get, by the time they oh yeah because yeah, they're close to five hundred probably mind. now half right a billion but, dollars yeah yeah hey man I I'm really at this point I'm just fucking pissed off because you're taking advantage of a crowd that is near and dear to me the sci-fi lovers the space spaceships space fleet there. space battles I gotta protect these people because apparently that. They are easily <laughs> targeted. They're like goddamn uh, the football people. <laughs> they're digital cards. They're digital card packs. You know. <sighs> I don't know if you them. heard Alex's uh, story though. Uh, Did you not hear card? about the bed sheets? <laughs> bed sheets are coming. Oh, bed sheets. Right, right. They're gonna they're, like they're gonna Deforming. be real messed up. And it's gonna look it's super like, nice. Whoa, is that satin? <laughs> <laughs> Silk Sateen. option only an additional hundred dollars on oh. your ship. Egyptian yeah. cotton only additional hundred. Three thousand. Thread count. Yeah, Digital. but actual threads or are they cheating on the thread count? And you'll get insurance on it in case it gets stolen. Oh, your bed sheets? Yeah. What if they get stained? They'll charge can I wash? for insurance. Don't give them, Look at all these genius fucking ideas we're giving Washer and dryer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Maybe it's a space age fabric space. that you don't need to like wash it like, as often. Water? This is fucking Although ridiculous. all the people who are spending money in, in Star Citizen probably not washing their bed sheets. Stop it. Stop giving them money. <laughs> And there goes the comment section. Like, you guys don't know no, nothing. Fuck, fuck Why are you bringing this up? This if you guys point. know nothing at about this, this point, game. they're laughing along with us. Eat while no, they're they not. yes, Watch. while they continue to give the money. Look, we know that they're working on the game. We know that they're updating I'm the game, fuck. and we know it's coming out eventually. No. It's just very funny that in their updates list, this is show me league. Yeah. Show me. <laughs> they wanted to do bed sheets, so I don't want to see your bed sheets. We're talking about bed sheets. All right, let's talk about Strauss Zelnick. Uh, the Take Two CEO is going to be there until 2029. This is hot off the presses. Uh, he just received a contract extension. May see huge bonuses. Um, do you want to know what his oh, bonuses are linked to? Oh my god! How, yes. Nothing good. How much microtransactions come oh in my Take god. Two games? Well, specifically, that motherfucking guy is killing it. Of course, he's earned every fucking cent for his fucking shareholders. And he's a giant piece of shit. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, it's almost two hundred million dollars a month that Take Two makes in two hundred uh, million a month in just microtransactions. Yeah, the casino generator, the shark cards, it's all fucking in-game transactions, virtual ridiculous. currencies, all that other garbage, yeah. right? Um, and this is the money that could have gone to new game development, new IP development, fixing the fucking games that we're playing already. But no, but there's you know, no this point. is the money this that, is that goes to money, the CEO's easier. pockets it's easier. as income inequality continues to grow in this fucking country. So, OK, yes. cool. And and, you know, your average developer wages or workers wages in general stagnate and stay the same since the fucking 80s. While the year goes <laughs> record goes this way. Yeah, yeah, like we go this way. Three hundred times more the average. So yeah. when well when those companies find a little fucking new revenue stream, boy, do they grab that fucking oh, teat yeah. and squeeze that teat and put that teat in the mouth? Milk it dry. Mm-hmm. That was happening, and unfortunately, it's fucking with our games and yeah. making the games worse. The reason why we keep bringing this up, we know that you can spend your money whatever the way that you want, but when you choose, no, and no, you can't. <laughs> well, you shouldn't, because if you show Take Two that you are spending all of your money on microtransactions versus new games, they won't make new games, and they will only add more microtransactions, which is exactly what we've been saying for years. Yeah. It's the way the industry is going. Less and less games, more and more microtransactions, more and more mobile things, because they need yeah. your mom to play Candy Crush nine hours a day, and like... Yeah, sure. That's if it. you if you want to spend ten thousand dollars on on fucking you know a, a bastardization I don't know the fucking Command and Conquer mobile game you know I guess you can I'm gonna call you a fucking idiot dickhead for doing it a dumbass you're ruining games and for us <laughs> the rest of us because yeah. they the uh, they don't want it it's not gonna stop it's only gonna get worse when you do that yeah. agreed people are gonna eventually pull their heads out of the ground and go wait a minute where'd all the AAA games go it's like and well, then when you do that <laughs> and, been, and it's too late it's too late say like sports games they're like okay. Okay, well, there's nothing we can do about Madden or FIFA at this point. It's not uh, FIFA anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Sorry. Yeah. It's a it's sports club. No, f f soccer club. Yeah. No, FC. Football club. EA. EA FC. EA, don't play that shit. Yep. No. Don't, don't play it. All right, we got good news about Gotham Knights. Excellent. Right, OJ? <clears throat> potentially, Gotham Knights could have four-player co-op. I already thought it had four-player co-op. I also... 
thought. It is co-op. There's two players, but oh, okay. the developers are maybe considering. Oh, okay. well, they keep showing four. four people in the marketing, so I'm I'm just kind of I'm looking forward, yeah. and I'm like, oh, okay. If there wasn't, I'd actually That's be nice. pissed. Yeah. So cut it out. But the P- <laughs> but the PSN listing showed that it was gonna, or listed that it was going to be four player co-op, which absolutely makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Uh, be, uh, Nightwing. The studio might be looking to bump that number up. No, it needs to be bumped. Maybe. Perhaps Warner Brothers has a, Montreal has a surprise announcement up its sleeve, or maybe it's uh, developing a mode separate from the campaign that supports play. Ah, okay. So there were two player co op in the campaign because can't afford it, or <laughs> four player co op in a horde mode. That's what that's what's gonna happen. All right. Well, bummer. So four player horde mode and uh, bummer. Ooh, ooh, all, right. all right. Well, whatever. At the very least, yeah, that would be so awesome to play with you, Joe. And uh, me, and we'll get it for we'll somebody else. What's well, a fucking Mittens and Joe? We'll that's why Joe was like, I call Nightwing, Duh. and I'm like, uh, well, then who do I get? Okay, I'll get the uh, Red Hood called Red Hood. Alex, Alex can be Robin, Batgirl. man. I'll be Batgirl over Batgirl. Robin. Girl. Oh, okay, which well. Robin is no, it's All right. be. That's it. Shit. I forgot that name. Bump it up to four player in the campaign, please. If it's not already, make it so, make it so. All right, I got one. Um. <laughs> So uh, I got another fucking mobile game. Wonderful. Uh, this one is Warped Cart Racers. It's an upcoming Apple Arcade game. Don't bother. Don't just. It's don't gonna even be one of those expensive up. ones. Apple like Arcade, ones, I think, is like a subscription one? service where they try to put all these exclusive games, and they have to try to get your attention. How do they get your attention on this one? Well, it is a cart racer featuring Hank Hill, Peter Griffin, and more. So you got Stewie, Stan from uh, Family Guy and American Dad. And f- uh, so wait a minute. In fact, Warp Corp raises five characters from Family Guy, five characters from American Dad, five characters from King of the Hill. We could play the trailer, I guess. Um, and five from Solar Opposites. I am Don't know not what familiar is. with Solar Opposites. Oh, is that the one where there's like aliens on Earth or something? I, I haven't even watched that one. Yet. Oh, that one's supposed to be like, that's the Rick and Morty clone, right? I, I don't know. Oh, okay. I, mean, I don't know. know. Uh, as you can see, so we got all those ones. We got 16 maps, tons of customization. Warped Racers does not have a release date, but the trailer says the game is coming to Apple Arcade uh, in the month. So oh. I guess, I mean, it's cool to see that. I just, I, I hope it comes to fucking... PC or console, because screw Apple. I'm not fucking... Remember, the, well, we were talking about Chocobo GP. Remember the That's worst the racing one. game? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, there's a racing game that did it everything fucking wrong. Why, yeah. why has it got to be, ex- you know, on the fucking Apple Arcade? Uh, I, that's this exclusive thing, right? Isn't that where they take more of the cut? Yeah, it's a god damn it! It's a video subscription service offered by Apple. So uh, I remember because they try to put, they try to entice you. I think there's like a cool Star Trek game on there and something. I'm like, well, I ain't playing it. That you know, uh, exclusives. Apple oh, Arcade. you said it. You said the thing. You can't even say the title of it. We just got claimed. Ah, God damn it, CBS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. Okay, well. That's all. That's all I got on this one, right? Yeah. We're gonna have to a um, lot of mobile, mobile. <laughs> not even fucking mobile games. Mobile and Star Citizen. But you know what you can do? You know what your money would go towards? It's actually a good thing. Saving your balls, guys. Give them a Seriously. squeeze. Think of us. Yeah. Check yeah. yourself Think once a us. month. For sure. Manscape, guys. And this is really cool. This pink edition. I want this. I'm going to take this one. This is mine now. <laughs> it's mine now. <laughs> you can get yours. Click the link down below. Thank you so much. And we shall see you on part two mm-hmm. of the news. Bye, guys. <laughs>